Strange New World Season 3 Vulcan Episode Could Be Sibok's Perfect Star Trek Comeback Star Trek Strange New World Season 3's Vulcan Episode Could Be the Perfect Comeback for Spock's Brother, Sibba. At San Diego Comic Con, Star Trek Strange New Worlds revealed a five-minute first look clip from a Season 3 episode directed by Jordan Canning, where members of the USS Enterprise are turned into Vulcans. The Lieutenant Spocks, Ethan Peck, Dismay, Captain Christopher Pike, Anson Mount, Ensign Nyota Uhura, Celia Rose Gooding, Nurse Christine Chapel, Jess Bush, and LT, Leon Noonien Singh, Christina Chong, are not only more Vulcan than Spock, who is half-human, but their pointed ears and logical minds appear to be permanent. Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 1 shocked audiences by introducing the younger version of Sibek, Spock's half-brother. A Vulcan heretic and revolutionary, Sibuk, Lawrence Leckenbull, debuted in Star Trek V The Final Frontier, which takes place over 25 years after Strange New Worlds. Sibuk embraced emotion over Vulcan logic, and he was driven by a mad quest to find God in the fabled world of Shakari. Sibuk ultimately sacrificed himself to save Spock from the malevolent god pretender, George Murdoch. But in Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Spock and Sibuk are estranged and Sibuk is imprisoned in the Ankeshtan Katil Vulcan Criminal Rehabilitation Center. Sibuk has a perfect way to return to Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, Season 3 Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, Season 3's Vulcan episode is obviously comedic, and the latest in a line of humorous tales exploring how Spock feels about his Vulcan heritage. In Strange New Worlds Season 3, Spock is alarmed by four of his USS Enterprise crewmates becoming full Vulcans, as it surfaces his deep insecurities about not being Vulcan enough. Indeed, Captain Pike and the others referring to themselves and Spock as four and a half Vulcans is an obvious dig at Spock that cuts him deep. But this is something about Spock that Sibek would understand. It's possible that Spock could seek out Sibek in Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 3's Vulcan episode, and this would be an ideal way to bring Sibek into the prequel without disrupting Star Trek canon. Sibuk was raised with the young Spock for a time, and he would be all too aware of his half-human brother's inferiority complex. Since Sibuk turned his back on Vulcan logic, he is in a unique position to counsel Spock that clinging to his Vulcan heritage and his fears of rejection is actually illogical. It also makes sense Spock would turn to Sibuk for help after all, Spock can no longer speak to his adopted sister, Star Trek, Discovery's Michael Burnham, Sonequa Martin-Green, who vanished into the 32nd century. Sibuk, disappointingly, did not appear in Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 after his shocking unveiling at the end of Strange New World Season 1, Episode 7, The Serene Squall. Strange New World surprisingly updated what little audiences knew about Sibuk from Star Trek V, revealing that Sibuk goes by the pseudonym Xaverius. Sibuk married a space pirate named Captain Angel Jesse James Keitel before he was held in a Vulcan prison, which is ironically overseen by Tpring, Gia Sandhu, Spock's fiancé. Captain Angel hijacked the Starship Enterprise in a failed attempt to free Sibuk. In the rich and storied history of Star Trek, the Vulcan race has been an enduring symbol of logic, wisdom, and restraint. Their unemotional, highly disciplined culture often stands in contrast to the more impulsive, emotional nature of humanity, making them one of the most fascinating species in the franchise. Yet within that culture, a rare few reject the strict teachings of Surik, the philosopher who codified Vulcan logic. One such figure, largely forgotten in the larger tapestry of Star Trek, is Sibuk, the rebellious, emotional half-brother of Spock. As strange new worlds embarks on its third season, the time seems ripe for Sibok's triumphant and timely return. Sibok, a polarizing yet promising character introduced in Star Trek V The Final Frontier, Sibek was portrayed as an unorthodox Vulcan who rejected the culture of logic in favor of emotional expression and a mystical quest for meaning. He led a spiritual crusade to find Shakari, the Vulcan equivalent of Eden, believing he could commune with God. Although the film was met with mixed reviews, Sibok's character stood out as an anomaly in Vulcan society, and he was played with captivating passion by actor Lawrence Luckinbull. Sibok was the embodiment of a central tension within Vulcan identity logic versus emotion, intellect versus fate. Yet, after the events of the final frontier, Sibok all but disappeared from Star Trek canon. His controversial nature as a figure who disrupts Vulcan orthodoxy and the general reception of Star Trek V may have contributed to this absence. 
but strange new worlds, known for its delicate blend of classic Star Trek elements and fresh storytelling, offers a perfect platform for his return. Sibuk, with his emotionally charged worldview, could be explored with more depth and nuance than was possible in the 1989 film. Setting the stage for Sibok's return, the universe of Strange New Worlds has already teased a Vulcan storyline that could pave the way for Sibok's reintroduction. The show's depiction of Spock, played by Ethan Peck, has focused on his struggle to reconcile his Vulcan heritage with his human emotions. Spock's inner conflict is fertile ground for a Vulcan-centric episode that could explore the diverse philosophical viewpoints within Vulcan society, an ideal moment to reintroduce Sibok and explore the emotional and spiritual side of Vulcan identity. The previous seasons of Strange New Worlds have shown a willingness to dive into the complexities of Vulcan culture, often presenting it as more rigid and divided than fans might have imagined. This deeper dive into Vulcan ideologies sets up an excellent opportunity for Sibok, a figure who represents one of the most radical departures from the Vulcan norm. His return would provide a natural foil to Spock's journey forcing him to confront aspects of his family and culture that he has long repressed. Expanding on Sibok's story, one of the strongest aspects of Strange New Worlds is its episodic format, which harks back to the structure of the original series while allowing for character-driven arcs. Sibok's return could be the focal point of a standalone episode that revisits his past and his relationship with Spock, while also expanding on the cultural tension within Vulcan society. In the final frontier, Sibok was driven by a deep spiritual yearning, something that was portrayed as both admirable and dangerous. Yet, his motivations could be explored more deeply in a modern context, where themes of faith, individuality, and purpose are often more nuanced. What drove Sibok to reject Sirak's teaching so passionately? How did his divergence affect his relationship with his family, particularly Spock and their father Sirak? Was his search for Shakari purely symbolic, or did it represent a deeper need within Vulcan society for emotional and spiritual fulfillment that their logic-centric culture suppresses? These are questions that could give Sibuk new depth, transforming him from a one-off antagonist into a fully realized character. In fact, Sibok's character might find new relevance in today's world, where the tension between science, spirituality, and emotional well-being is more present than ever. In a society that prizes logic and reason, what place is there for faith and emotion? Sibok's journey could reflect these larger themes, offering a fresh take on the balance between rationality and feeling. Sibok and Spock, a family conflict revisited. Perhaps the most compelling reason for Sibok's return is the chance to explore his dynamic with Spock. The two brothers who took drastically different paths are a mirror of the larger Vulcan conflict between logic and emotion. In Strange New Worlds, Spock's struggle with his human and Vulcan sides has already been a major theme, and Sibok's return would force Spock to confront the parts of himself he fears most his emotions and his desire for connection. An emotional reckoning between Spock and Sibok could allow both characters to grow. Spock, who often suppresses his feelings, might come to terms with his own emotional complexity, while Sibok could reflect on the consequences of rejecting logic so fully. Their conflict could also provide a commentary on the need for balance, both within individuals and in societies that often dichotomize logic and emotion.